Okay, guys, um, here's part two of that message. Okay, so first he gave me Habakkuk 1, 4 through 9. And if some of the scriptures might go with part one, but um, this is just the order that I got it in. Therefore, the law is powerless and justice never goes forth. For the wicked surround the righteous. Therefore, perverse judgment proceeds. Look among the nations and watch. Be utterly astounded. For I will work a work in your days which you would not believe, though it were told you. For indeed, I am raising up the Chaldeans, a bitter and hasty nation, which manches, marches through the breadth of the earth to possess dwelling places that are not theirs. They are terrible and dreadful. Their judgment and their dignity proceed from themselves. Their horses also are swifter than leopards and more fierce than evening wolves. Their chargers charge ahead. Their cavalry comes from afar. They fly as the eagle that hastens to eat. They all come for violence. Their faces are set like east wind. They gather captives like sand. Okay. And then he gave me Jeremiah 3.11. Then the Lord said to me, backsliding Israel has shown herself more righteous than treacherous Judah. Genesis 16, 2. So Sarah said to Abram, see now the Lord has restrained me from bearing children. Please go into my maid. Perhaps I shall obtain children by her. And Abram headed the voice of Sarah. First John 3, or Sarai or whatever. First John 3, 8, he who sins is of the devil, for the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Okay, here's the message. My child, destruction is coming. Electroshock waves will start. Fires will break out from the electrical storms. Colorado, Massachusetts, Buffalo, China, New Jersey will experience shock waves. They are coming. The ruler... A prime, oh, a prince. I can't read my handwriting. A ruler, a prince of Egypt, his darkness will be called on. New players have formed. Turkey no longer can defeat. Iran takes its place. Missiles launched at Israel. Visions of Daniel has commenced. Are you awake yet? You still doubt my prophets? Daniel 10, 6. His body was like barrel, his face like the appearance of lightning, his eyes like torches of fire, his arms and feet like burnished bronze in color, and the sound of his words like the voice of a multitude. Daniel eleven three. Then a mighty king shall arise who shall rule with great dominion and do according to his will. Psalm 1, 1, 6, 5. See, and I think that Daniel... Uh, eleven three. I think that's about that uh, Gog ruler because he said, you know, Egypt, and people think it's Russia, but he told me it wasn't. Um, Psalm one sixteen five. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Yes, our God is merciful. Psalm eighty three two. For behold, your enemies make a tumult, and those who hate you have lifted up their head. John four eleven. The woman said to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. Where then do you get the living water? So those were part, you know, the, some of the scriptures probably match part one, two, you know, because he kind of just gives me in that order is like a full message. But um, so uh, let's see, it says, and I said missiles launched at Israel. It was supposed to say missiles will launch at Israel for all the people who said, no, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. So guys. I get all of this in my on my notes like look that's a lot okay so I get it I write it all in my notes on my phone I copy and paste it and then I have to translate it all to paper it's a lot of work and I'm human I make mistakes so I don't always get every word correctly but no it hasn't <sighs> sorry it's very tired today um yeah. he um told me that in a previous message that it was starting but hasn't launched yet and he told me who the players of Gog Magog were and so I guess now that you know Turkey experienced all that um Iran's gonna take their place into you know trying to take down Israel I guess that's what he means but um I can try to decipher his message because I'm not very good at that I seem to mess that up a lot <laughs> 
So let's just scratch what I just said because I don't know if that's what it means. <laughs> I'm tired today. You can tell I'm tired. Um, but I claim that Jesus Christ came to earth as a man in the flesh, died three days later. I mean, see, I'm tired. <laughs> died for us and rose three days later. Um, and if you don't know him, he's awesome. You know, just ask him to come into your life. Um, confess your sins. Believe in him with all your heart. And he'll forgive you. Jesus is like, he's the coolest. He's like your best friend. He's like your father. He's like your brother. I mean, he's everything. You know what I mean? He is just so cool. So cool. And the peace he brings, guys. I mean, I'll be honest, you know, there's not a lot of people around me, you know, that understand what's happening, you know, family included. So at times, you know, all I have is Jesus really. And, um, the new believers out there that I became friends with, you know, y'all have been really great. And just, you know, some of my Christian friends that I had before that have been really great. And, you know, you guys keep me going. <clears throat> you do, you know, cause it's kind of up and down. You know, there's days where you're just like, oh, you know, okay, I can do this. And then there's just days where you just get, you know, tired and it's kind of all you do. Um, <laughs> so your messages and your love to me just really keeps me going. And um, I appreciate that. And um, yeah, don't ask me to explain part one.